how I cured my social anxiety in just one week. The help cured my anxiety was going on NoFap. And if you're thinking and just judging, oh, this is one of those corny ass NoFap videos, you can click off, bro. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to tell you guys how I cured my social anxiety on NoFap. On NoFap, bro, you'll experience a lot of benefits. There's endless benefits of just having uh, endless energy, woman attention, increased in testosterone, a bunch of other ones, right? Like, we all know that. Anybody watching NoFap videos, you know, like, the main, oh, energy, this, that. A lot of people don't talk about is get, getting rid of social anxiety. And this is probably one of the greatest benefits that you'll experience on NoFap, bro. This is huge because this can legit change your life, bro. A lot of people are now introverts, meaning that they're, like, more shy and a little more timid to go talk to people. They, you know, they want to stay in their shell. You know, a lot of introverts actually just stay home and just, like, honestly don't go out there and talk to people. It's like they're almost having a fear of just, like, communicating with strangers almost. They always see themselves as being awkward in social gatherings and, and social situations, whether that's, like, a party or just, like, even a get-together with friends. Even even though like if there's like that one guy that they don't really know they don't chop it up you know they're just kind of scared they kind of stay within their circle almost they have a huge fear of getting out of that circle and they're always overthinking you know is this should i say this or what should i say or you know like what should i wear this that and this leads to even more anxiety even more social anxiety and just get you to be more scared and timid. But I'm gonna tell you my story about being on NoFap and how it cured my anxiety, bro. To first start off, I wasn't the most introverted kid where I'm staying in the house, I'm locked in the room, I'm scared of playing video games, you know, I'm watching porn, all this. I was never one of those kids that were, you know, full on 100% considered themselves introverted. Sometimes when I'm in social gatherings or social situations with friends or whatever, being in these social gatherings, you know, sometimes talking to strangers was tough, you know, getting out of my shell and like, you know, going to communicate with these people. It was kind of tough, I can't lie. And especially around women, especially when I was younger. I remember going to the mall with my boys and they would be like, yo, bro, go talk to that girl. Go go talk to her. She's mad cute, whatever kind of thing. And I would be legit shaking in my boots. This was when I was like 14, 15. I didn't really know much about girls or even how to talk to them. So I thought, you know, they were a whole different type of person. You know, I was just overthinking. I thought they were like fucking completely different than me. You know, things like that. You know, you know how it is when you get scared to talk to a girl. Every man does. So there's certain situations that you're scared in. You know, that thing, those type of things of just like talking to strangers can legit just like scare you away from a lot of certain things. Like I said, I'm not the most introverted kid ever, but like, you know, I had a lot of friends that like, you know, even were introverts and I had no problem communicating and actually being friends with them because I would go up to them and just like make sure that they're not like uh, scared or worried or just like even like that they can trust me almost. I know friends that when if we're going to McDonald's or fucking Burger King, I always had friends that were like, yo, bro, can you please go ask for like a honey mustard or can you please go ask them for a barbecue sauce? Because these people were that scared of like asking for something as little as barbecue sauce. But in their eyes, that's like a big battle. That's like, bro, I can't go do that. Like, I don't I don't know. Like, it's like, you know, I try to ask these people like, yo, why don't you just go do it yourself? And they're just like, nah, bro, like I can't do that. You know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, that's when I felt like they were comfortable with me and everything like that, which I is good introverted people need to face their fears like that's what it comes down to you can't be like hiding in the shell almost and just like you know if something like getting a barbecue sauce like is something very scary notice that you have a problem that you have to fight that and find a resolution and for the resolution for 90 percent of you guys and especially me was going on nofap right a lot of this comes down into like the things that we watch and a lot of times we were watching porn growing up ever since we were 12 years old i remember even like after being 12 years old 13 14 years old i remember being in classes with other girls that i was normally just talking to i go chop it up with them but sometimes i'll be wary and kind of like hesitant to go move towards them to go talk to them as if they weren't my friend you know, more more times than not, I was always thinking them, of them in a sexual way, especially since I experienced porn after, you know, watching that shit all the time. After discovering it and watching it all the time, you kind of start to see women different. You start to see, like, almost the world different. You kind of see, like, yourself more nervous because you're literally locked in a room. And, you know, at that time, I was going crazy. I was probably going three times a day, you know, you feel me? Just, like, almost just, like, in shock. My body's always in shock, always depleted, so that when I go to school, the only thing I know girls of is fucking at that point when you're watching porn even no matter what age you are bro i know people i could just tell like you know that they're scared to talk to women whether they watch porn or not but if you're watching porn and this is all you see women doing is sucking dick and doing all of this you know all of this sexual shit what do you think is what, what do you think you're gonna see a woman for you're gonna be more nervous of like going up to them because you don't see them as that person like i'm just like hi becky you see her as like I want to fuck her and just like how do i do it and I'm like, uh, 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 you're just all scared and shit it's like you don't know how to communicate with a woman and that's where nofap comes out because I like it's like a lot of people would say like 
oh, you think this is the cure just because of this, that, and the third. Like, more times than not, it is, bro. Detoxing from a negative addiction is definitely going to be a lot of cures for a lot of things, right? Like, detoxing for weed, right? Fuck no fat for a second. I detox from weed. I remember smoking weed three, four times a day. Every single day for like at least six to eight months, bro, for a year almost. And when I detox and I told myself, we're not going to smoke for these three months for New Year's Eve, New Year's resolution, I did that. And from th those three months, those were the best three months of my life because I experienced life without weed again. I understood like what I'm supposed to be grateful for and like all the benefits that came with me not smoking weed. I wasn't tired. I wasn't fucking fried all the time. My mind, I wasn't losing my mind. I was actually present in my moment being happy, just being high off life again. It, of course, a lot of people would say, well, like, it's just a placebo effect. No, bro, retaining your seed is something that's very strong and potent that's going to better you and become a more stronger masculine man. If you really think about masculine men that go fight in armies and fight in wars, they're not scared of girls. They're not introverted. They're not none of that shit. They're, they're one bullet away from getting their head blown off, and you think they're scared to go talk to a girl. Do you think these people are, like, you know, like, not to come for introverted people, but do you think they act like them? No, they're more masculine. They don't give a fuck about that. You think about these war heroes and everything. You, like, if they see kids nowadays that are, like, on their phone, computer games, all in their fucking room all day, they're gonna look at these people completely different. Like, what the fuck? Is that even a man? I can tell you from first-hand experience of not watching porn and not fapping for almost three months that my life completely changed, bro. I made countless videos on this. I'll leave the most important video that I ever posted right here for you guys so that you guys can know all the benefits of NoFap and how it could change your life. Especially when it comes into that department of talking to strangers and being in social gatherings without being nervous and cold approaching women. It's like almost like you get like this trigger of real lifeness of like you becoming that person again. And just like going back to when you were a kid. If you really thought about when you were like five, six, seven years old, eight years old, if you remember, you, you wasn't always that scared. Even if you were like one of the shyer kids, okay, I understood that. But like even then, like once you just go into like, if you're playing with kids and they're all playing like soccer, like whether or not you like the people or not, you're just going to play soccer. Like it's like, you weren't that shy. You weren't going to be like, well, should I say this or that? More times than not, all of those kids weren't doing that. They were like, ooh, soccer ball, I want to go play. So it brings you back into that time of just like talking to people, right? Like even if the people are older, I always like thought about it like, you know, they can't relate to me. But like even the older people, like 40, 50, 60 years old, I talk to them about all certain type of things, like a lot of things within my life because a lot of people at work that you become friends with, but even strangers, just having conversations with strangers. I walk the bay almost every single day and I t at least talk to at least one person there, you know, just chop it up for th with them for like two to three minutes because like, it's like, why not? Why wouldn't I? You know, I'm always alone anyway. So it's like, why not? go talk to people that's the feeling that you get you start to feel like why not go talk to these people why not go talk to that beautiful girl you won't be scared no more you want and then the big thing too another benefit is like not only just men and not scared to talk to women bro you see a beautiful girl you were like your your in your instinct like who you are as a man like you know strong man everything like that you want to go talk to this girl like damn she's pretty as fuck why don't i talk to her but after retaining and not watching that bullshit after a while there is no none of those scary thoughts you're like that's a girl we're human i go talk to her i talk to her I grab her number, I call her, we go on date. You you can break it down into like cavemen almost. I go up to girl, I talk to her, I connect with her, grab her number, take her to date. Like you can't you when you like you don't overcomplicate shit anymore. Your head isn't all oh, well. Uh, maybe I'm not too handsome for her, or what if I say the wrong thing, or uh, she's too pretty for me. Like all of that pussy shit. Like it goes out the window almost. Honestly, there's studies that show like your testosterone boost within the first week, right? If testosterone goes up, you're not scared as much. You're not scared of even dudes. Like you you ready to mix it up with a dude? I'm telling you right now, like you're not scared of most shit. You're not scared of confrontation. You're not, you're not scared of confrontation. You're not scared to go talk to a girl. You're not talk, scared to go talk to the dude you're more times than not you're not signs of testosterone that's why i say that when you're a manly man you're you know these guys and war heroes they will look at you they'll sit back and look at you like are you retarded like are you like like are you good bro like if you go and talk to your grandpa that was in the war bro he'll be like bro my head almost got fucking blown off and this kid is crying about him going to talk to a stranger right like you could put it into those simple words and that will make you feel guilty almost I said it got cured for me in one week. How to achieve this? You have to go on no fat. You have to stop watching porn. You have to stop being inside all day and being in your shell. Go out with your friends. Go out with that one friend, that one weird kid, your, your one weird cousin that you don't even like. Go out with them. See how they communicate with other people. And try to copy them almost. Even you could go and copy word for word. If you are that down bad where you have to copy this dude word for word, why not do it? Like, why be ashamed of that? 
learn something, learn how to communicate with people, you know? That's how you build friends and relationships and things that you could use in your everyday life. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This also means you're not scared to talk to girls, bro. Like all these guys, you know, a lot of people do this no fab shit just so that they don't be scared to talk to girls, just so that they can get some women in their life. And that's fine. At least you have a goal and the reasoning to do this. I said it's about to be three months on no fab. So it's like, you know, like I see things for what it is. It's just like so much more things that you get other than like your anxiety going down. But my challenge to you guys is go on no fab for a month. See how your life changes. See how things change. You will understand what I say in these videos are low key true. And it is, it's not something that you just try to skip over. Well, maybe it was placebo. No, like it's literally your essence. Like this, you guys don't understand. We make babies with this shit. You feel me? Like your nut means everything. We make babies with it. And more times than not, a lot of people, 90% of people like I was just spewing it everywhere. Like not on bitches, on porn, whatever it is, useless things. Not your girlfriend, not your wife, not making kids. So you should be holding that within you. That means no porn, no jacking off, no edging, none of the bullshit. See how you are and you will see that you will fail. More times than not, you're watching this, you will fail and that's fine. You got to ease into the thing. You can't just say willpower. The strongest people with willpower will submit to their sexual urges because their sexual urges are hard. Super hard to just like say, no, I'm not going to do. Especially when your dick is hard, bro. Because that's when you start thinking with your dick. It's like, bro, your sexual urges are out of control. And yeah, more times than not, you will fap. You will relapse. Like it, it happens. It's a part of the journey. That one month might take you three to four months, I'm gonna be keep it real with you. Even just to get that one weekend, it might take you a month, two months. Like it depends, everyone is different. The amount of porn that you watch, everyone is different, bro. If you could do that, congrats to you. Pat on your back, really get to it. But if you can't ease into it, learn about this shit. I got this, I got a couple videos that literally go into depth about this whole thing. And I literally recorded my every single week within my three month nofab journey. As time goes by, you will notice the benefits that I'm talking about, the endless energy, the, the testosterone increase, you know, you want to be doing things, hard work feels good, you want to do your goals, all of this, you, you will start to realize it, bro. And you will slowly, over time, notice, for me, it took like a week. I remember, if you, I'll, you can look at my first video I dropped. It's the first video, the first NoFap video. The most important benefit that I put in that video was that, because it was only one weekend and I was completely shocked. That I was like, yeah, like, I, I just don't feel anxiety anymore i don't feel none of that and even after you relapse it say say a word to relapse tomorrow or whatever it's still in my head that i'm not gonna be nervous around these people it's like once you do it just for a long time it's like stays apart with you like all of these like benefits and everything like that yeah it's like it stays with you right like for me like if uh, oh if i'm on day 90 and uh, i boss I, i'm not gonna get no bitches like who me are you dumb like i'm sorry like i'll even put my pride into this like you get no bitches like who you talking to me like no bro like i I'm gonna get bitches regardless whether on NoFap, day 1,625 days on NoFap, or day one if I just relapse. Like, don't let that play with your mind of like, oh, I'm gonna, if, if I fap right now, I'm not gonna get women attention, or I'm not gonna be able to fuck, or whatever. It's like, bro, that's when you take the shit to the, like, the most extreme, bro. Relax. Like I said, after one week for me, it was gone. You might feel it in week two that you don't, you feel more like you want to go communicate with people, that you want to talk to people. That's perfectly fine and that's different for everyone. It might be week three for you. Everyone's different, but I'd definitely say within that first month, like your anxiety's diminished. Like it's down. It's like if you were at 80%, you're now at 20. You don't feel scared in a lot of situations, a lot of social situations. Even in the social situations, you will probably be finding yourself talking more and communicating with other strangers just because like it's like you have that feeling within you. It's like, that's a pretty girl. Why not just talk to her? Not even not even if you're going to get her number. See if she's cool enough to be even your girlfriend. That's how I think. I'm like, man, let's see how she rock. Like, how she talk. You know, if she's good for me, whatever. Like, she talk all ghetto and shit. All right, bro, you could keep that bitch. You know, she's pretty, but to me, she's ugly kind of thing. But it's like, even with friends, you want to talk to people. I always talk to so many people at the gym. I talk to a lot of people just within my day. You don't even realize it. It's just like... You say, hi, how are you? And the, and the conversation just keeps flowing. So it's like, it feels natural. The awkwardness that you feel or like, well, uh, maybe it's awkward or all of the overthinking. No, you, you don't feel that anymore. You literally just feel normal, I guess you could say. If you were introverted to the extreme, you will finally feel normal. That is the feeling that you will get. So that's how I cure my anxiety in one week, bro. If you like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And write down in the comment section something, a video that I should go over next. Let me know because this video was just from a comment. I, they gave me a perfect idea to make a video, full video on this one topic because this could literally change your life. So it's like those comments, I look into it. I look into all my comments. I want to see, you know, what videos you guys want next. So please let me know in the comment section. And if you didn't watch my last video, watch this one. This one was pressure, bro. I'm telling you guys right now, you won't regret watching this video. So stay yourself, stay 300, and whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.